Hello everybody, societally designated spooky theme night is almost upon us and this being the closest Friday to it, I have decided that we're going to be having a go at Area 10, a short horror game experience created by Anachronistic Alos. So a very big thank you to Anachronistic Alos for this one. Uh, this may or may not count as my Halloween special for the year and apparently we've got a lantern because... It's a horror game, right? Uh, and it's been a while since we played a horror-themed portal map. I guess, I guess Cyberdyne kind of counted, but uh, this is actually horror. And as we've been instructed, we need 10 keys so that we can exit. Exit to safety, as everybody would like. Right, so... 10 keys. Seeing number designated rooms. And the lights go out because, again, of course they do. It's a horror game. Um, yeah, I'm expecting jump scares. I wasn't expecting the manic rambling. Wait, was that in my head or in the game? Let's let's go with the game. Uh, so yeah, it's a find the keys. We we did one of them recently, but with okay, that's definitely not in my head. But we've added um creepy factor so sure let's let's find some keys you probably want me to start in the designated starting room which means i'm going to go look elsewhere first what is this notice this please excuse this incon please excuse this inconvenience this elevator is out of service because they always are fine let's uh go have a look in the rooms the rooms of increasing creep right oh that's not good yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? All right. Fine. Yeah, sure. Um, hello? Y you don't want to open? Was I in the way? Oh. A dead core. Well, that's not creepy. I've wished death upon Wheatley for ages. Now I'm feeling much better about this. Uh, let's, uh, does that door not want to... What? Sure. Is it me or is it the door? There's something in there. Can you... Open up. What's going on in there? Obtained a key. Oh, okay. Well, one of ten. Sure. Um, Wheatley, it was nice knowing you. That's a lie. Uh, right. So, room number two then. Yes. Every time that goes off, I'm expecting something to change, right? Let's just get on and try room number two as the creepy glow of the lantern guides us. That's not too bad. That's just on the floor there. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's the thing. Sure, right. So there's certainly uh, someone else in here with us, and those ramblings are getting louder. Oh, that's not good. An aperture-themed dormitory. Yeah, that's horrific. Oh, that that did creepy things. Meaning we need to investigate. What the fuck? Who's that? Well, that's glorious benefactor, sir. But who who was the... Who was... I'm guessing the little girl was Shell, but who was, you know, Cletus? The Cletus there. Who the fuck are you? Well, that's a face only your mother could love. Um, Possibly Shell? Sure. So it's that kind of map, Aki. Uh, we'll grab that and get the fuck out of room number two. Room number... Free, I guess, in fact. Um, oh, the mannequins. What the fuck is it with Aperture's mannequins? Why are they... Okay, we're fine then. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we played a creepy map, hasn't it? Uh, room number five. Room number five has another creepy... Closet. Oh, I can't close them to protect myself. Great, fine. Uh, we'll have a look in you then. Nada. But... <laughs> Somebody uh, shrunk Atlas. Nope, shrunk Peabody and his uh, quintuplet friends. Can I have that key? Thank you. Yeah. Um, less of them, please. Can I, can I close that? Let's let's put let's put you back in there. All right. Where's what's his face? Because I'm guessing he turns up when we find keys. Yeah. Fine. Five. Five keys. It's got that slight uh, 
backrooms vibe and the manic rambling really does feel like it's getting louder. Let's uh, go for room number six then. Feels like we should definitely do things in order in this one. I don't normally follow ordered instructions, which is uh, why my IKEA furniture looks cooler than yours. Well, that's Atlas, or at least uh, Atlas's shrunken core. Atlas balls, always fun. Uh, we've obtained another key in there. What about this side? No, this side is normal. Did he appear behind me and I wasn't paying attention? I bet he did. Yeah, whoever the fuck that is supposed to be. Right, uh, another one down here. Room seven, sure. Room seven is another one of these empty rooms with a key there. Yep, there he was again. Yeah, it's sort of, I don't know. When you expect jump scares, I don't know if that makes them better or worse. They're less scary because you'll know they're coming, but uh, you're expecting them. So there's tension build up. What did Aperture practice segregated dorm rooms? Where have we got a second one? Are you going to do weird shit? Where's the trigger? No, oh, oh, oh. Yep, okay. Um, hi, G-Man? G-Man on antidepressants? What the fuck is that? Sure. Sure, I feel like I'm supposed to recognize that art style. I think I read a self-help pamphlet that looked like that once. Now it's just dark. No, there he is again. Why does he only appear from the lantern? Yeah, okay. Um, is there another key in here? There's a key in here. Somebody's been doing some late night reading. Well, that was kinky. Okay, um, let's get the fuck out of this one and go into room nine around here. There's something other than mannequins in there, isn't there? And there's a lot of blood. And they disappear when you focus too much on them. Uh, yeah, in room number nine then, please. I say please with my teeth gritted. Every time the light goes off, let's just grab you. Where's he going to be? Ah, right there. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Uh, let's get into room number 10 and see if we can get the fuck out of this then. Another creepy ass closet. Not expected to hide in them though, so the lantern does give a slight amnesia kind of vibe. Can you open back up, please? They don't like it when I get in the way, apparently. There was a key in there, wasn't there? Did I see a key? There's definitely a key in there. Can I? There, grab that, grab that. Okay. Uh, the doors don't like it when you stand too close. I bet I just missed him behind me again. So that's 10 keys, right? That's the end of it. That, I think, is our door. And that corridor contains unbeknown horrors. Sure. Let's go uh, stick these in that thing. Every time. So jam them in this. No? What's this for then? This looks like a key receptacle of sorts. Uh, you're all illuminated though. Does that mean... Ah, okay, yep, fine. Gonna check the door every... Oh, it's just the ticket thing. We check the door every single time. It's getting darker out there. That's never good. You, you. I'm definitely expecting him to like just jump scare horror pop up now, right? You and you. No, did I not get all the keys? I thought I had all the keys. Did I miss a key? You don't do anything, so... I'm missing a key, apparently. Okay. We'll go have another look. It's something to do with this elevator. I could have sworn I grabbed ten keys. We went in every room, didn't we? I feel like the game knows I'm missing a key. And you still don't do anything. Is there something behind the desks? No. Okay. What have I... missed then? Um, I just could have sworn I had all the keys you needed. Am I missing your trigger point? No, I'm definitely short a key then, apparently. Okay. We will check every room again, because that's fun. Uh, is it something to do with these? Which, who is that? 
Is that supposed to be like Shell's dad? Shell was a creepy looking child. Um, I feel like I've gotten every key, so there's something else going on, right? To do with them. Oh, fuck, I did miss a key. Ah! How did I miss this room? Did I just walk straight past it? I missed room four entirely, apparently. Okay, fine. Well, that's the last key, right? Let's go uh, jam this in the door. And... And the thing. The thing, right? All the locks are off, but it appears you need another key. Of course. Yeah, I thought you looked suspiciously important. So... Here we go again. That was a vicious change of lighting. Uh, you. You are now in service, apparently. With the one... Oh, that's a key, right? Obtained a key? Obtained... Hi. Um... Oh, shit. Okay, um... Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, right. Okay, let's go jam this in the thing. See? He's still coming, right? What if I... Can I close that? He is definitely, definitely coming. Um, you know what? For canon's sake, let's leave the door open and stick you in there. Exit unlocked. Cool. Exit. Well, hi, you multiplied. And he is definitely still coming. Who's this guy in the middle? It's like a, a Vortigon there or something? Oh, that is horrific. Looks cool as fuck though, doesn't it? Yeah, um... Sure, I'm really tempted to let him get me, find out what happens. You know what, let's uh... Let's leave it to the last moment, like... Now, freedom! Fre free freedom Did, did we win? In the end, you managed to escape. Oh, well, thank fuck for that. Thanks for playing. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, um, uh. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, um, that was Area 10, a short horror game experience created by Anachronistic Alos and recommended by Izzy D. Bauer. So a very big thank you to the both of them. Um, sure, a lot of fun and really quite creepy. Um, reminds me of a goth girl I used to date, but, uh, maybe not quite so kinky. We, we never did anything with an audience or quite so much fire. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.